Virgo. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. What is going on? Um, I feel like there was some kind of sexual encounter um, that was pretty, uh, pretty passionate, pretty good. Um, all right, let me just get into it. I'm going to start off with your person's overall energy. We have obstacles and challenges, temptation, mental conflict, passion ignited, and positive movement forward. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing 555 and 11. Um, look those up, or maybe those are numbers you've been seeing. All right, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to crosswatch, but don't force anything to fit. Um, also, when I say your person, it could be flip-flopped and reversed, uh, so it could actually be you when I say your person, all right? Place it where you see fit, general reading. Um, all right, Virgo. Also, if you're feeling the vibe and want to subscribe, be part of the tribe. Also, please comment below, like, share, anything. It all helps me out, and I appreciate it. All right, so I'm hearing that song, Lead, by James. Um, you're probably familiar with it from that movie, American Wedding. Um, this bed is on fire with passionate love. The neighbors complain about the noises above that song. Um, and then I'm hearing Crazy by Britney Spears. So I feel like something happened. I feel like maybe it could have been a one-night stand, could have been something like that, but it was fire. Um, your person's overall energy is wanting a stable new beginning. <laughs> kind of laughing at that. Um, I feel like they are single, solo, independent, or maybe they just want to be single, solo, independent, play the field. I don't feel like they're ready to take a leap of faith right now. I do feel like they have a blockage. Um, they could have just gotten out of something or they're still healing from some heartache, pain, disappointment from the past. So they are blocked right now and I don't think they're ready to take a leap of faith of course right whenever there's that much like passion desire chemistry it's like why mm, why all right let's see what is up with Virgo's person I feel like I'm hearing that song too by Dirty Vegas uh days go by and still I think of you I feel like this could have happened a little while ago this <laughs> this person oh they like to be chased it feeds their ego could be a gemini the lovers they're very good with that passionate side ace of cups Please don't be eight. Oh, it is. It's eight of cups. Walking away from any kind of new love. This person, that's why you are like crazy thinking about them. And you could be chasing or they want you to chase. But I don't think they're ready to offer any kind of new love. And that's why the chase is happening, because you want what you can't have. Look up the lyrics to that song, Laid, by James, it, and then Crazy by Britney Spears. It kind of all makes sense. They got an ego, though. They have an ego. They do. They probably know that they're good in this act. They're not ready for commitment. Player, 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 player. Here you are, though. You are showing up in their energy, so there could be something to this. What is this? This could be like a friends with benefits type thing or <clears throat> a temptation thing. This could have happened more than once. It doesn't necessarily mean a one night stand. This could be one of those things where you guys go out together, you have fun together, you hang out together, you sleep together and it's fire and the chemistry is insane and everything is like amazing, but they just, they can't commit. But they wanna hang out with you all the time. They wanna go out, hang out. 
Let's see, what are the blockages here? Blockages between Virgo and this person. Victory and success, healing. The person is unhealed from something. They're still holding on to something from the past. That's the obstacle. The hermit, it's also your energy. Blockages, Knight of Wands. They're, they're in a player type energy. They could have just gotten out of something where they experienced heartache, pain, disappointment, and now they're just playing the field. It could even be just with you. It doesn't, I'm not seeing really like third party stuff yet or other people yet. I just feel like this person doesn't want to commit. Yeah, see, they can't give love. Their heart's not healed or not in a place where they can. Yeah, see? <laughs> Again, it's repeating itself. It could be a little bit toxic. I do feel like this person does have a little bit of an ego, probably because they've been hurt. So now they're insecure, they're trying to make themselves feel better, they love getting attention, and they love being chased, let me tell you. This person loves being chased. They're just not happy. They're not in a happy place right now. They're not ready. You're probably going crazy. Again, this could be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? Cross-watcher, you know, could be flip-flopped. They're just not in a place of happiness or, or ready to move forward. How do they feel about you though, Virgo? How do they feel? How do they feel about you? Really? No feelings? I'm just kidding. Um, Three of Cups. I feel like this is that having fun, going out, celebrating, drinking, partying, friends, friendship. They know you're uh, intuitive, though. <laughs> Tower. They could look at this connection, Virgo, like it was unexpected. I, I feel like they feel a strong connection to you. I can't dismiss that part of it. There is a connection here. And maybe they just didn't expect that connection, but they're still, it doesn't dismiss the fact that they're still not ready to be in a relationship. They see you as a loving, caring energy. Um, they might see you as emotional, even though you are earth. They do see you wanting to move things forward. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking. Oh. Do they say stuff like that to you? You're way overthinking it. Let's just live in the moment. Let's just have fun. They love the attention you give them. They just want to go places with you. They just want to like do things with you, go places with you, or hook up with you. They see you as the Queen of Wands. And the way I read Queen of Wands is, yes, it's Aries energy or fire energy. But when I have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, if they show up in how they feel, it's usually that like fiery, attractive, fun, flirty, outgoing, um, kind of like my player energy. Only Queen of Wands can turn into a relationship. Knight of Wands, usually not. That's the difference here. So you both have this chemistry, this fire, this attraction, this passion, this adventurous, spontaneous, fun, flirty, outgoing, attractive. You're probably like super attracted to each other. And this could turn into a relationship. This can't. They're not ready, but they love hanging out with you. You are like a wish fulfillment to them. You're probably very healing to them or a very big distraction to their hurt. They also see you as earth energy, very grounded, secure, unbothered. 
you're not blocked off, you probably tell them how it is, Virgo, you guys. You're very shy and quiet, but when you do talk or express anything, you're very truthful and honest, you know? Um, again, you're very healing to this person. You are a wish fulfillment to them. They're just not ready. They're, they're immature. This has a, a pig flying when pigs fly type of thing. I just feel like the maturity level is off. There could be an age difference for some of you. I feel like they just, they just want to have fun. And they, ha and there you are. They have fun with you. So again, I'm not really seeing this person. Yeah, they see you as romantic. I'm not really seeing this person being a player as in your typical player going out, hooking up with XYZ and not giving a care in the world. No, I feel like this is a very friends with benefits situation. I feel like this person is single. I don't feel like they're, they're in a marriage. They could be get it, going through a divorce, a separation. There could be something like that where it's really fresh and new. Um, or they, they are completely single, but I'm not seeing them being married, being in a commitment. So this is one of those situations where it's a single person. You're probably a single person. You guys are friends with benefits, hanging out, hooking up, having fun. You want more. They can't give you that. That's the situation as I see it here. Uh, let's see. What are their intentions or their next actions? Yeah. Breadcrumbing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bread crumbing to feed their ego. I got Leo. See, that's what I'm saying. They see you as this. They see them as this. Even though they are really this, they're seeing it as a hookup, a fun time to hang out with. You probably go out to dinner, go out to drinks, go to concerts, whatever. You probably hang out. They're breadcrumbing you. They're an unknown energy right now. Yeah, they're chasing that passion, desire, chemistry, fun. You want that commitment. Not even, it's not even like, I, I feel like you don't even be like, marry me. I feel like you're just like, commit to me, like make me your, your person. Level this up. Move this into calmer waters. They may. It is here with intentions, but. Healing. I got to heal first. Two of cups. Again, see, that's what I'm saying. They have a very strong connection to you. There's a very strong bond here. Man, that song, did I say it? Candy Rain by Soul For Real. You're their Candy Rain. They're not, I don't feel like they're sneaky or manipulative. I feel like they're a genuine person who just isn't ready. They do love hanging out with you, spending time with you. I feel like they also told you that from the beginning. Like, I'm not ready for anything right now. Let's just, let's just have fun and hang out. And then eventually, friends with benefits, somebody always gets emotions. Like, 100% of the time, somebody does. In this case, I, I do feel like it's you. Again, it can be reversed. But I don't feel like this person's lying, sneaking, cheating. I feel like they are genuine. I feel like they are upfront about not wanting a, a relationship, but they also don't want to let you go. I don't think you want to let them go. They are working on things, though. You might work with this person. This could be like a workplace thing for some of you. They do have a romantic side. Okay, there's that Ace of Cups that's mm, been hidden. Decision, decision. 
what is this decision? They're, they're ignoring it or rejecting making a decision about commitment, leveling up. It stresses them out. I feel like they want, they want it. They started off working on a, a new beginning and stability, some kind of stable new beginning of being independent, looking good, feeling good, financially independent. They could be putting a lot of focus into their work or finances and not into love and relationships. But I mean, you know, we all have our needs. So they're probably looking at it like you're the perfect friend to hang out with, no strings attached. But how long do you do this until strings get attached, you know? So what are you going to do in response to this? Truth, clarity, victory. Ooh, you may abandon it. You may get that truth that this, yep, there you are. That this isn't turning into anything. And you want something. You want something real. I feel like you're going to abandon this. It could be a Leo that you're actually dealing with or a fire sign. You're going to observe. You're going to observe. You may have a talk with them. Like, look, I'm after a relationship. I don't want to be playing this game. Because you know what happens when you're in this situation? If you do want a real connection and you're busy entertaining this person, you're not going to you're not going to catch the person that does want the relationship because you're too busy focusing on this. So that that could be a missed opportunity. Stable new beginning. Uh, I know what's going to happen here. A lot. I know what's going to happen here. I mean, it's typical. You probably already know what I'm going to say. It's kind of standard for this situation. You are going to end this. And then you might even wait, lay back, be patient, or you go out on dates. You might meet somebody new. You might even just put yourself out there and start going out on dates. You may not meet the one. You may. I don't know. But I feel like this is what's going to happen. All right. This is the truth. Sorry, I can't do this. I really want something real. I want commitment. I want stability. I'm closing this cycle out. I'm going to put myself out there and start dating. You're going to start dating. You're going to get out there. This person is going to be observing or watching you do that. And they're not going to like it. They don't, they, they don't want you to be with anybody else, but they can't give you what you want. It sucks. Are they going to step up? Confusion. Let me get a different deck because this one's starting to why? Ooh, wait, maybe not. What do we got here? I do have, so the hermit, and then I do have making a decision, getting clarity, change in perspective, and I do have that leveling up commitment. Is that going to change? Is that going to change the perspective? Let me see. So what's going to happen? What's the outcome here with Virgo and this person? You might get your justice. They become unstuck and make some kind of head over heart decision. What happens here with Virgo and this person? You're going to have to pull your energy away and like cut them off. That they're going to feel that disconnect because this is a very strong bond. It is. They're going to feel you disconnecting and moving on. They're not going to like it. And then they're going to want to come back. That's what I'm seeing. It is typical. It does happen. So I'm just kind of curious. Oh, they do make some kind of an, a love offer or apology. 
they, they feel abandoned. They're going to feel abandoned by you. They're going to want to talk. Here's the thing, though. It's just going to be short-lived with their commitment. Commitment to them is burden. Because also what's going to happen here, Virgo, is they're going to like jump the... Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word. I may have to edit it out. They may move too soon. They may move too soon and um, try to get you back. It's the wrong intention here. Sometimes that works if like you've been in a relationship and commitment and they screwed up and you disconnect and then they come chasing and then you can run off into the sunset together. This, I feel like they really, truly, truly, truly are not ready to commit. They truly, truly, truly are blocked in their heart chakra. Send them my way. I'll give them some Reiki. Clear that, that heart chakra right out. No. <laughs> Just saying. Um, it's iffy, Virgo. It's iffy because you may temporarily get what you want. However, you may learn. You It may teach you something about this. Like maybe this was just a lesson or maybe it is a soul bond and you were supposed to cross paths and you were supposed to cross paths to show them healing or help them get over their situation. And then maybe they're teaching you some kind of value, worth, or just something that was meant to be during this time. I'm not seeing shadiness. I'm not seeing toxicity. I'm not seeing... You may feel different if you really are kind of living in Britney Spears' crazy song, you know? Like, you might feel like you're losing your mind here. But in all reality, it... I don't think this person is a bad person. I feel like this is a situationship. All right. Messages. Messages. What do we got? What do we got? So deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Not, again, I don't think this person's lying. I feel like maybe you're wearing a mask pretending that you don't have feelings for this person and you do you know it could be something like that distance uh the separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow see you disconnect they're gonna come running i just unfortunately i do feel like it would only be temporary some of you it may be running off into the sunset for some of you Balance. There needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a, re a relationship to be sustainable. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, they do. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. You're good at that. Divine timing. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection could be worth the wait. Yeah, timing. Timing is off. All right, nothing else wanted to come out of there. So let's see. Messages here. Truth. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. You figure out some kind of a truth or clarity right here and what you're going to do. You get some kind of truth here. Travel. Distance, boundaries, far apart, getaway. Some of you may travel. Addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. I keep hearing that song now, Addicted to Love. <laughs> Unfinished business. It's not over. Patterns, back and forth, baggage. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not. Fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. This person is afraid. Intuition, gut feeling, psychic, premonition, sixth sense, single. Here, this is all you need to know right here. Single, alone, isolated, lonely, guarded, but single, and then party. Celebration, event, public, social, gathering, friendships. Single and friends. It's not over, though. This isn't over. If you guys already are, like, in that separation spot where you're like, I can't do this anymore, it's not over. But it may not be a forever thing. That's all. 
That's all. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Oh, wait, sorry, letters. Ah, letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. All right, we have W, P, J, N, C, Q, B, V, H, G, F, and I'm seeing um, D, S, X. That's a lot of letters. D, S, X, W, P, J, N, C, Q, H, B, V, G, F. All right, zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, could be number of days, weeks, months, years. Data significance, place it where you see fit. Did I totally mess that up? All right, zodiac signs. <laughs> we have double Libra, Aries, and um, Gemini. Double Gemini, double Libra, a lot of air coming through, and Pisces. So Pisces, Gemini, Libra, and Aries. Numbers, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers, and age. Uh, zodiac signs is sun signs, strong placements in their charts. I don't know. We are the last reading of the day, so I'm kind of spent, so I apologize. <laughs> All right, angel number, 1111. Um, we have 581111 and nine. So 58911. So it could be May, August, September, November. Could be 58, 59, 89, 98. Place it where you see fit. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Love and light. Take care.